Hi friends, welcome back. I'm Alisa Abdullaeva and I'm here to help you to create harmonious and happy relationship between men and women. And today I want to give you three tips how to overcome depression, anxiety, and laziness. The reason why people are actually depressed because they are attached to a wrong goal. For ladies, you could be attached to the goal of growing in your company or growing your business or getting advancement at work or getting a bonus. There's some kind of attachment. It could be attachment to a man that is not yours. What do I mean by that? The relationship is not going well. I'm not talking about marriage. I'm talking about relationship. You are not happy. He is not happy. You're lost, but you think this is the best thing and you're making him a priority. Gotta let go. When it comes to relationship, 90% women are responsible for the relationship because we look at the society and say 50-50, 50-50 everything. No, men are supposed to be providers and protectors, but we ladies are the ones who are responsible for the relationship. So you gotta understand that if relationship is not working, it's because you are not doing something correct. And why? It's because again, we in a society right now making either a man or a work or our kids as a priority. And that's a wrong way of looking at life. Number one, for everyone, men and women, has to be a higher power as a priority. Number two, you have to be a priority. This goes again for men and women. Number three, for ladies, it has to be your family, your husband and your children. Yes. For men, number three, should be their work, their success, and how to grow in their business or at work and not just come and bring the salary home. No, they have to get advancement. And number four for you ladies should be friends and community because we ladies talk a lot and we need to have girlfriends, we need to have a community to make a difference with our friends and community and extended family. And for men, number four, has to be a family because after work he comes home and he rests and enjoys his time at home and for you ladies only number five could be work if you have energy and resources meaning you have a desire you have resources to give back to community and now i'm gonna say something that most of you are not gonna like to hear a woman is not designed to work for more than two hours per day and she has to work only if she wants to not because she has to pay for bills and she has to go and become a go-getter and provide no because she really wants to for example she's an artist and now she teach other people to be an artist or she knows how to heal and she goes and help and heal others but only for two hours a day in order to be healthy emotionally and physically and now most of you will tell me how can i work two hours i won't be able to provide for my family i understand and the reason why you cannot provide for a family because you don't have a protector a husband and the reason why you don't have a protector because you went to work and you made a work and success is a priority and men when they're at work they're shifting to masculine energy they can come home and shift to slightly to feminine in order to relax but when you ladies go to work you are exhausted you are in a masculine energy like men and then when you come home you cannot shift and relax because you've been exhausted for eight hours and so you continue to stay in the masculine energy. And that's where tension starts between men and women, between husband and wife and boyfriend and girlfriends, because men cannot rest with a woman who is anxious and stressed and depressed after work. And so then you will ask me, how can I start shifting to femininity and detaching from work? And the best way to start detaching and shifting back to femininity is start 
doing spiritual practices. And I wanna, I would like for you to watch this video where I talk about it and this video. Because if a woman at home is in a feminine energy, she practices spirituality, she is calm, relaxed, happy, and she feeds this energy to everyone at home. And then everyone wins, including you ladies. And so going back to the topic where I was talking about depression, laziness, and anxiety, and anxiety, how can you help yourself with anxiety, is from detaching from those goals as well. Because if you are attached to keeping your job and growing, you're like a squirrel or like a chipmunk. Keep rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling, and you don't know how to stop. Because you have here customers and here clients and here bosses and here colleagues and you're constantly trying to please. And this is I'm talking about you ladies. Because again, for a man to do that, it's normal. He is born to provide and protect. But for us, it's abnormal. And again, you won't be able to work eight hours a day and come home and relax. No, it doesn't work this way. Because for eight hours, work shift for women it takes eight hours to recuperate for men only one hour that's how we're very different we're in a society spreading the equality thinking that we can operate and work the same way as men but we can't we can't we're not designed to physically emotionally intellectually work like men we're not yes you can but you cannot recuperate from stress. And then everybody is exhausted, including you. And that's where mental health, anxiety, depression kicks in. And by the way, also, laziness is part of the depression. People are lazy because in the background they're depressed. And why? Where is the society depressed? Is because, again, we're attached to the wrong goals. Goals for women especially, number one, again, has to be a higher power. Without connection to a higher power, and I'm not talking about going to church and putting the check mark that you went to church uh, once a week for an hour. This is not what I'm referring to. A relationship to a higher power should be on a daily basis. Either you meditate, either you do affirmations, or you're doing a prayer, but there got to be some kind of spiritual practices that you practice on a daily basis. So you can again center yourself and experience this harmony, peace, calm, and then happiness kicks in. So I hope that's been helpful. Namaste. Until next time.